Do you enjoy solving problems and working with your hands? HVAC service technicians are a growing occupation in California. As heating and air conditioning systems age, there is an increase in demand for service technicians who can diagnose a problem and have the skills to fix it. The service technician will show up. He has to find the problem. He has to explain the problem to the building occupant, the homeowner, the business owner, and let them know what's involved in terms of getting them back where they need to be, get the repair fixed, and you know, leave with the customer happy and satisfied that the work is done. So a lot of being a good service technician is not only taking care of the system, but taking care of the rest of the building and taking care of the building occupant, the homeowner or the business owner. It's, it, there's a lot of people skills involved. Another thing about being a service technician, you're generally working by yourself. Uh, our techs all run pretty much from crews of one, so you have to be a self-starter. Uh, if something goes wrong, you're kind of the guy that has to take care of it. I have a service manager, he's got a cell phone, you can call, ask for help, we can send somebody else out there. But by and large, you're kind of on your own. You have to have the confidence in your ability and in your judgment to go in there and start doing the repair and get it finished and get it where it needs to be. Having confidence and, and part of having that confidence is having the strong technical skills. So you believe in your diagnosis, you believe in the quality of your repair. You are the guy who can put this back where it needs to be. All that's very helpful when you're a service technician. The nice thing about this business is every building's different, so every day is different. The energy efficiency and utilities industry sector in California is made up of over 30,000 businesses. Currently, there are over 25,000 heating, air conditioning, and refrigeration mechanics and installers. In the next five years, it is projected that there will be over 2,000 job openings in HVAC occupations in California. I'm looking for someone who has you know, strong mechanical skills, obviously. They have to know how to get in there, look at the system, puzzle out where the problem is, figure out a way to fix it, uh, get it up and running, and be a self-starter. You're going to be on your own. Uh, there's not going to be anybody, no supervisor looking over your shoulder, which a lot of people like. But it does mean that if something happens, you're the one that has to take care of it. You can't really turn to your boss and say, hey, you know, get, I need help here. Um, we do have a service manager, we can't send other techs over, but by and large, it's going to be your situation to resolve as you can. Salaries in HVAC occupations range from $17 to $27 per hour. When I'm hiring a service technician, I want someone with you know, strong math skills, so we will give them a, an exam that we have here in-house that tests their math ability, tests their mechanical ability. Uh, if they have had a chance to go to a community college and be in an HV, HVAC program, I will test them on their trade skills and knowledge. Uh, another thing I look for are, again, the soft skill background. You know, have they ever worked in a retail uh, kind of setting? Are they, uh, as far as the self-starter, I mean, other stuff, community service, um, Eagle Scout, that kind of thing. Someone who has shown leadership, shown initiative, uh, shown a willingness to be the person to make the decisions and act on them. One thing about the heating and air conditioning industry is it's dominated by owner operators. Uh, companies that were started by someone who probably was a service technician, decided he wanted to go out on his own, start his own small business, and then builds it into a large organization. So there's opportunity to be your own boss, build your own business in this industry, and that's something we see a lot of service technicians do. For more information about earning potential for careers in California, please visit salarysurfer.cccco.edu. For more information about careers in California, please visit pathtocareers.net and cacareercafe.com. To find a community college near you, visit cccapply.org and learn more about how you can take the first steps to a fulfilling career today.